And now I'm honored to welcome back our chair, Marta Wilson. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to be here to present the Advocacy Award to someone who considers connecting with and caring for military families to be one of the most important roles in her life. As a military family advocate, she has spent countless hours volunteering to support military families in the programs and organizations that serve the military community. She has used her position to advocate for families and to seek out the services that they need and that they deserve. She's visited hundreds, if not thousands, of organizations so she can share information about them with fellow military family members. And in her spare time, she was a physical therapist for nearly 30 years. Most of that time was in the pediatric care, was in pediatric care. So she has directly enabled thousands of children to reach their potential while also helping their families deal with disabilities and special needs. In fact, when the Dunfords were previously stationed in Washington, she was a therapist at the Easter Seals Harry and Jeanette Weinberg Child Development Center in the district. In recognition for her exceptional advocacy for people with disabilities and special needs, including military families, it's our honor to present the Easter Seals serving DC, Maryland, and Virginia Advocacy Award to Ellen Dunford. All right, so there's not big enough font that I could possibly put on a piece of paper to read this without my glasses. Um, just thank you everyone so much. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you this evening. And I did work at uh, Easter Seals Children's Center in the early 1990s as a physical therapist. And I found it was a place of caring and compassion for the children with challenges and a place where their family or their caregivers could find the help to grow and strengthen while their children did the same. So Easter Seals was started about 84 years ago to help children with disabilities when there really were not other resources in the community to take care of their needs. Um, they brought together uh, experts in various fields uh, who could help the children and give them some better opportunities. Well, those kids grew up and Easter Seals grew with them and developed programs as those early children aged into adulthood and their senior years. And they continued to help them find ways to improve their quality of life. Easter Seals' mission statement says, they provide exceptional services to ensure that all people with disabilities or special needs, including military, wounded warriors, veterans, and their families, have equal opportunities to live, learn, work, and play in their communities. So essentially, they fill gaps and they help our families during recovery and transition. Well, military spouses have always followed a very similar set of, of values and practice. They identify gaps in taking care of the needs of their own and other military families and they create avenues and opportunities for those in need. Military spouses have created nonprofits to care for uh, the injured and surviving family members. They have pushed the Department of Defense for child care, for better medical care, for fair employment opportunities, and they've helped their commands develop family readiness programs, and they've taken care of each other during all of their moves and deployments. Um, 
I've always had the support of my husband and children when I was involved with these activities. So I'm accepting this award on behalf of all of the military spouses in this country, the good neighbors, the volunteers, the helpers and healers who identify a need and act to remedy it. This is part of being a military spouse in this country. I'm not unique. I follow a long line of role models. There's a number of them sitting in this room right now. Um, despite huge improvements in services that are offered for our military families and our service members, gaps still exist. Those gaps are filled by advocates and volunteers, and I am only one of the many. The role I have today sort of reminds me of when Easter Seals was first started. I and the others like me look for the holes. Uh, we advocate where we can. We bring together the entities who have the needed skills and work to create a smoother path for our service members and their families once again to thrive even during their most challenging circumstances, whether they're still in the military or they're transitioning out. So on behalf of all who I join and who join me, thank you for acknowledging the value of our service and for this honor. Thanks so much.